Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It is almost 11 p.m., but I promised you guys that I was going to get this video out for you today. Now, I did not do both, but I will give you this one. This is my best attempt at taking down uh, Icarus with Black Widow Clairvoyant. So here's how the video is going to go. I will show you my best attempt. Afterwards, I will show you the other attempts. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going in here with a six star rank three Black Widow Clairvoyant. You can do it with a uh, five star rank five. I am boosting. You don't need to boost. Uh, I am running suicides. And that, that takes a different strategy. So I'm going to walk you through this fight. And I'm going to, you know, just talk to you about what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm not the best fighter, but here you can see the active buffs. There's a lot of stuff you can't do. With a Mystic Champion, you don't have to worry so much about uh, the uh, damage from the, um, I think it's the light attacks. But notice that I have a debuff on me right now. If I do not fire a special before that debuff goes down, I am going to take damage. But uh, what I did was I took the damage. Don't care, Claire can heal up. So that's the plan. Now, because I was running suicide, you notice that I cycled through all of her phases. You don't want to stay in uh, Hellfire. Don't want to stay in that phase. You're going to see that I made lots of mistakes doing that. You don't want to do that, okay? So I cycled through, and now the goal is to stay in blood. Now, sometimes you mess up. Sometimes the um, game reads your final attack wrong. You'll notice that he keeps on going unstoppable. That's because I'm trying to back off and it keeps reading it as a parry. And you don't want to parry him, okay? So the basic strategy, as you can see here, is he has this indefinite protection. That's what you see him have up there right now, okay? You've got a few ways to uh get your in you can bait out his heavy and then fire off a heavy that's going to remove it uh you can bait out his special one you do not want to push him to a special two trust me it's not fun you'll see all right um and right there you notice that i messed up with the spacing that's another thing you're going to have to get used to in this fight is the spacing all right so when he fires his special one all right, you're gonna notice that I wait for him to dive down and then I dash back. Okay, so as soon as he dives down, you can dash back. Now, if you're gonna dash back early, you'd better dash back twice. Uh, there were some times where I did it and I was too close and I got hit. Okay, so you're gonna have to practice that space. But that's pretty much how the fight goes. Now, when he fires a special, they put a, he puts a um, heal block debuff on you. That's not good usually uh, for those of us who like to run uh, the suicide masteries. But also she needs to heal up on occasion. So you kind of want to time it, all right? So that you are firing your special two in the phase of Curse of Blood. And uh, like right here, he is about to get protection on. So I didn't get a lot of healing from that. But I had to fire it off because I had that debuff on me that was going to do that, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, detonation. I forget. Plasma detonation or something like that. So um, I just fired it off. See, it's up there right now again. So my style here, because she does nullify a lot of those energizers. So she is a great option for this fight. Now, she does not meet the, uh, you know, the uh, criteria for the mutants uh, that we still have to do. But 
we basically want to stay in a uh, curse of blood. I have watched other videos and uh, there are those that um, were very, very good with Claire. If you're really good, you can time it so that you switch into the hellfire right when you need to. Some stay in a uh, curse of play to control his power. But I didn't find that I needed to control his power so much as I needed to learn the spacing and to get the timing right when I got rid of his uh, protection. Okay, so like right here is a good one. I baited out and I'm getting some good healing in. Okay, and that's pretty much how uh, you want to do this fight. So uh, he is a really annoying person, let me tell you. Um, you don't need to just read the node. You want to read his abilities as well. I recommend that. Read Icarus's abilities as well as the nodes, okay? That mighty charge is really annoying, all right? Um, I always hated it, uh, but here we go again. See, this was perfect. Look at that. Look at how much health I got back. Beautiful. And that's why you can do this even with a five-star. You know, the six star gives me a little bit more health. The boosts make the fight go a little bit faster, but not needed. You can play this slow. I don't like low, slow fights. I don't like long fights. Uh, but if you'll notice here, and I noticed it, remember what I told you that sometimes it reads it wrong? I got into the curse of plague. I didn't want to, okay? And see here, I just fired off my special and uh, fortunately the health, uh, the power back, and I'm already at a special two, all right? And I got rid of that, and now it's great for me to do this, boom, and I'm healing again, okay? Glad I saw that I was in Curse of Plague because I did not mean to go into Curse of Plague. I meant to stay in Curse of Blood all the way through because I need to keep on healing up, as you see. And we're down to 8%, all right? So close so close all right and i'm looking at this timer and i'm looking at that that detonation thing all right and i'm just like okay all right just let it go let him hit me get the protection down we're down to four percent all right oh and then he got real fast and and blocked it tried to catch me tried to catch me but i got him got him down with the one shot all right that was close that final one he suddenly, whoa, whoa, and he was blocking. He was trying to parry me, but we got him down, okay? No hits received, 238 hits. Man, I'm gonna go to bed, okay? But that was the one shot. Thank you all for watching. Now, afterwards, I'm gonna put on some music, and you're gonna see all of my other attempts up until this one, because I want you to see it wasn't just a quick one shot. I worked and I played and I practiced. It took me about 30 minutes total, okay? So thank you all for watching. Take care and you all have a blessed day.
Bending. 